Alright, thank you for joining me. This is going to be the final closeout Stromer, Strommel Punxer video. And I will just say that I have had no more relapses since the relapse that I had back in November. So things are going fine on that front. This video, by the way, is going to be a little long, so be prepared. Alright. I need to talk a little bit about the procedure itself. There's a little bit of misconception among people that have uh, inboxed me because they will be going through the procedure. Just so you know, yes, it is a procedure where they poke holes in your eye with a little needle, but it's not as bad as it sounds. As far as the pain, they do numb you, so you're not going to feel the pain of a needle going into your eye a few dozen times. Don't worry about that. And as far as seeing the needle coming, what they do is they shine a bright light into your eye and they use a bent needle. At least that's what my doctor did. In this bent needle, you can't see it coming. So what happens is basically you're, you position your head in a very still fashion and you feel a little press and that's all that you feel. You don't feel the poke and you don't see the needle coming so you're not going to jerk back. That's if the procedure is done properly. I did want to mention costs involved real quick. Uh, anything, I would have paid anything to get rid of stromal puncture but the, I mean to get rid of uh, recurrent corneal erosion but the good thing was uh, my total bill for my treatment was about $650 after insurance and my PPO kicked in I only came out to about $380 out of pocket I don't know if that will be the same for you I cannot guarantee that and in fact please do not tell your doctor well such and such got his for $650 mine is, di mine is different and why is that please don't do that uh, you know, I guess if you want to shop around or something, you can, but I can only tell you what happened in my experience, but in my experience, I was not looking at a $1,000 or multi-thousand dollar procedure. It was only a few hundred bucks, and we all know that in today's uh, medical climate, a few hundred bucks for a medical procedure is nothing, and a few hundred bucks for a medical procedure that gets rid of something that some women say is as painful as childbirth, you know is worth it. So go ahead and do it. Uh, there's a helpful vid on YouTube and I do not have the skills to actually incorporate YouTube videos into my videos like a lot of people do. So I'm just going to have to link to that vid. But there is a video of a doctor on YouTube who's describing recurrent corneal erosion and stromal puncture and I'm going to link to that video. There is also what I have to say I do not believe is a helpful video of a guy who is searching around for uh, some remedies for his recurrent corneal erosion and he's saying that he was just going to live with recurrent corneal erosion for the rest of his life as opposed to getting a stromal puncture. He said he wasn't going to do it. I don't know what kind of recurrent corneal erosion this guy had, but mine, I tell you, I was going to do anything to get rid of it, including poking my eye out. So I don't think that that's a very helpful video. If your doctor says that recurrent corneal erosion should be healed with a stromal puncture procedure that he can do, or she can do, go ahead and get it done. That's what I did, and I could never regret that choice. My life is so much better after stromal puncture surgery. So don't be scared. Finally, I want to thank all the people who have been involved, and that includes, of course, more than anything, my doctor at the Columbia Eye Clinic in South Carolina. Uh, I will avoid actually saying his name just because uh, I didn't get his permission to do so. Didn't get permission to 
talk about who my clinic was either, but oh well. They did a very fantastic job. I could not have gotten better assistance anywhere in this country, I do not believe. So I want to thank them, and I want to actually, believe it or not, thank my insurance provider, Pierce & Pierce, for uh, helping me get through this. I also, or help helping me pay for this for what it's worth. I also want to thank my PPO, which is part of the University of South Carolina Health System. Uh, it helped bring my costs associated with this down dramatically. And I want to thank everybody who has watched one of my videos, who has contacted me to either give me support or to ask questions. The reason I did this was for those who still suffer. and. I will continue to be on hand to answer questions. If you have a question, go ahead and inbox me or leave a message below. And anyone that I've left out, I don't know who that could be, but I will thank them as well. Again, I do believe that this is going to be my closeout video. I will try to update the links to all the other videos so that they can be watched. Uh, in succession if anyone chooses to do so. Good luck for all of you suffering with recurrent corneal erosion. I guarantee you it's going to get better and uh, when it does get better once you have your surgery. Um, you know, go ahead and thank your doctor and post something on uh, the internet or something and just uh, do something for people who come behind you who are going to be suffering because it's really not something to be taken lightly. It really impacts your life really badly. And I think every voice that somebody hears about a success story is a voice that helps to comfort them. And I think that's what we uh, should be doing is helping to support and comfort and uh, just show a little love to our fellow human beings. So you know, look out for your people. All right, everybody have a good day.